Hello, my name is Steve Fender from Fender's Fish Hatchery. I talk to a lot of customers every year, um, get thousands of phone calls, and we always need to have one good piece of information is how big is the customer's pond. Uh, a lot of customers have not got a clue how to figure this out. So that's the point of the video today is how to measure your pond from your computer. So Google Maps is my favorite. That's what I use. Um, there's other um, ways to do it, but this is what I've used. It works good for me. You go to Google Maps, put your address in, bring up your pond location. Um, you can click on it and get to get satellite view. Once you get to the point where you found your pond, we've got one of our own ponds on here that we have, and you right click, and bring up measure distance. Click on that measure distance. Take the little dot, move it up to the edge of the pond, and then you'll click. And you go all the way around the pond like that, and you're clicking to go around the corners. So if you've got an irregular shaped pond, you can get a pretty accurate measurement of how big your pond is. So you just keep clicking. I'm left clicking here, so. And you can take that line and move it in like that to get even more exact. So you can get this down to where it's pretty close. And I've checked it against other measurements and, and it is quite accurate. So you've done the circumference. You found out what your distance is. And at Google Maps, what it'll do for you is it'll give you total distance around the pond and it'll also give you total acreage, your square footage, how many square acres, square feet in here. This particular pond shows 38,690 square feet. So what you do to find out an acre, take 38,690, divide that by 43,560. Now what 43,560 is, that's how many square feet is in an acre. Divide that in there and that gives you 0.89. So we're just underneath an acre of water here. It's 0.89 tenths of an acre is what this is. So that's the way you can get your measurement on how big your body of water is. Why that's important is, is you know, we stock ponds, we have packages that talk about how many fish per acre. Uh, when you get to use any, if you use any kind of chemicals, it's very important to know what your surface acreage is uh, using a beneficial bacteria. We need to know how many acres you got, what you got to deal with there. Uh, using pond dyes, doing aeration. Another neat thing is if you want to, if you're going to do any aeration, you want to do bottom aeration, you can right click again, clear measure, and if you decide you want to do bottom aeration, like in a pond like this, if I wanted to put three air stones out there, and I'll have my customers do the same thing, decide where your electric's going to be at. It was going to be up there, so you measure distance from that location. You want an air stone here, so we need to know part of when we set up air systems, we need to know how many feet of air line we need to go from the compressor to the air stone. So if we're going to put an air stone out here and our air pump is there, we know we need roughly 105 feet of air line to that location. Um, if we're going to put another air stone over here, we know we need 117 feet there. If we want to put an air stone clear back there, we know we need 170 feet back there. So this is a useful tool for finding the surface acreage of your body of water, um, finding how many feet of airline you need. You'll find this come in quite handy for a lot of different things. So here again, the clear measurement, right click, clear measurement, click it, it's done, clean. So it's just a, it's a really handy tool. Like I say, I have customers call me and I'll be on the phone. I'll actually have them give me a, an address. I can get on there, measure their ponds from my computer and tell them how big the pond is and then give them a better idea how many fish they need, how to set the aeration system up. It just, just really, really helps clarify a lot of things. So check it out a little bit. If you get any other questions, go to our website. Uh, you'll find my email and my phone number on there, www.fendersfishhatchery.com. Check it out. Thanks for watching.